How to get better from the housing crash. How to make money from it. The 2008 housing crash was a devastating event for millions of Americans, causing widespread job loss, foreclosures, and economic turmoil. However, for those who were able to weather the storm, the housing crash presented unique opportunities to make money. In this video, we'll take a look at some strategies for getting better from the housing crash and making money in the aftermath. Before moving forward, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for future interesting videos. Number 1. Invest in foreclosed properties. One of the most common ways to make money after a housing crash is to invest in foreclosed properties. Foreclosed properties are often sold at a steep discount as banks and lenders try to recoup their losses. This presents an opportunity for investors to buy properties at a lower price and then sell or rent them out for a profit. However, investing in foreclosed properties requires careful research and due diligence, as these properties can come with a host of issues and challenges. Investing in foreclosed properties can be a lucrative opportunity for investors who are willing to put in the time and effort to research and evaluate properties. However, it's important to understand the risks and challenges involved in this type of investment. One of the biggest challenges with investing in foreclosed properties is the condition of the property. Often, these properties have been neglected or abandoned for some time, leading to potential issues such as mold, structural damage, or pest infestations. It's important to thoroughly inspect the property before investing to ensure that you're aware of any potential problems and can accurately estimate the costs of repairs or renovations. Number 2. Flip Houses Another way to make money after a housing crash is to flip houses. Flipping houses involves buying a property, renovating it, and then selling it for a profit. The key to successful flipping is to buy low and sell high, and to make smart choices about which properties to invest in and how much to spend on renovations. Flipping houses can be a high-risk, high-reward strategy, so it's important to have a solid understanding of the real estate market and the costs and challenges involved in renovating a property. Flipping houses is a popular investment strategy that involves buying a property at a discounted price, renovating it, and then selling it for a profit. After a housing crash, there are often many distressed properties available at a lower cost, which can create opportunities for investors to purchase properties with the potential for significant returns. However, flipping houses is not a simple or easy investment strategy. It requires a lot of work, planning, and knowledge of the real estate market. One of the key factors in successful flipping is knowing when to buy and sell. Investors need to carefully evaluate the local housing market to identify properties that are undervalued or have the potential for appreciation in value. They also need to understand when is the best time to sell the property to maximize profits. Number 3. Rent out properties. Another option for making money after a housing crash is to rent out properties. Rental properties can provide a steady stream of income especially in areas where there is high demand for housing. However, becoming a landlord comes with its own set of challenges, including finding reliable tenants, managing maintenance and repairs, and complying with local regulations and laws. Renting out properties can be a great investment strategy after a housing crash, especially in areas where there is high demand for housing. Rental properties provide a steady stream of income, and can offer long-term benefits, such as building equity and appreciation in value. However, becoming a landlord is not a simple or easy task. It requires a lot of work, time, and effort to manage a rental property. Number 4. Invest in REITs For those who don't want to get directly involved in real estate investing, one option is to invest in Real Estate Investment Trusts REITs. REITs are companies that own and operate income-producing real estate, such as office buildings, apartment complexes, and shopping centers. 
by investing in a REIT. Investors can earn a share of the income generated by the properties without having to manage the properties themselves. Number 5. Buy and Hold Finally, one strategy for getting better from the housing crash is to buy and hold properties. Buying and holding involves purchasing properties at a low price and then holding on to them for an extended period of time, with the expectation that their value will increase over time. This strategy requires patience and a long-term outlook, but can be a solid way to build wealth over time. Conclusion the 2008 housing crash was a difficult time for many Americans, but it also presented unique opportunities for those who were able to weather the storm. By investing in foreclosed properties, flipping houses, renting out properties, investing in REITs, or buying and holding properties, investors can make money in the aftermath of a housing crash. However, each of these strategies requires careful research, due diligence, and a solid understanding of the real estate market. With the right approach and a bit of patience, anyone can get better from a housing crash and build wealth in the world of real estate investing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for future interesting videos like this. Thanks for watching. Thank you.